Hello Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of January. This week begins with Mercury, the planet of communication, entering the last few days of its transit through your zodiac sign. That's been with you for an extended period because of the retrograde, which began on the 3rd of December and ended on the 23rd. If you went through an extremely frustrating period during that time, I really wouldn't be surprised because it wasn't just Mercury that was rewinding. It was also squaring back with Neptune, which of course then happened again over Christmas week. And of course, the Sun and Venus also took their turn in squaring up with the dreamy influence of Neptune. And that was a very distorting and, and really slowed things down for you. However, by Wednesday of this week, Mercury gets back to the point where that retrograde first began. And you, you're going to find that something that is important to you, that may have gone through a series of refinements, now comes into the present and you can start to see tangible progress, especially in the second half of this week, because Mercury then goes on to combine with Saturn. Now, it's true that that's an aspect, especially in the second solar house, that can see us almost question our self-worth. But equally, if you're grappling with the research and detail of something which has got some kind of informational side to it, I really think that you're going to be on the ball. Often details can be a little bit boring to you because the big picture is what really excites you. But you've already got a huge clustering of energy in the second house. So your appreciation of the good things in life has meant that this has been an earthier start to the year. And that's really going to crystallise even more this week. So I think there could be some improvement around your finances or even about how you feel about yourself if you give yourself the permission because your ruler Jupiter and also Mars continue in a very psychological area. My sense is that some information can also be feeding into you, but of a more philosophical or healing type of, uh, of strands. But these can still be very important because the way you manifest them is going to be much more down to earth. So I do think there could be some big influences coming in. There may be some kind of lifestyle approach or a way of thinking about things that's evolving for you, but that can be shown in a very grounded way due to this clustering of energy that is there. However, there is a quarter moon this week, and it does suggest that in terms of your uh, longer term hopes, and also in terms of your friendships and your values, that some shifting that's going on, uh, coming along, it's almost like the Teutonic plates at the base of your life are moving, but they're making you much more aware of what's really valuable to you. And that's the role of Saturn in your second solar house. So I do think it's going to be a very productive week for you, but a week when you can start to see the progress you're truly making in a tangible way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.